Welcome to my quick guide on Butterfly Aka in Leagues 4. We will be showing a very easy 3 tick method, as well as some more advanced 2.25 and 2.42 tick methods for the adventurous gamers out there. These methods are designed around using the original Butterfly tiles to keep things simple. Let's start with a 3 tick Butterfly. Start by signing up just like you would a Butterfly in the main game. If you haven't done it in the main game before, you basically want to be at the south or north tile marker. And once Akka is a tile gap away from you, rotate whichever side Akka is not covering up. If Akka comes at you straight on, you're in trouble, so avoid this. If it does happen, you can shift one tile over if there's time. I highly recommend using the true tile from Better MC Highlight for this. You can also start at the edge like I do here. Once again, just make sure Akka's male tile isn't aligned with you. If it is, just shift over one tile like so. Once you manage to properly start the cycle, all you need to do to free take Butterfly is run one tile over compared to a normal Butterfly, like this. Normally, you'd only be able to attack on the north and south tile, but this gives you an extra tick, giving you time to attack on the west and east tile marker in addition to the north and south tile markers. If you don't have a Triant or Shadow to autocast with yet, you can manual cast spells while doing this. Note that since this puts you outside the quadrant briefly, be careful of Force Special. If Force Special is coming soon, you can do a normal 5 tick cycle on this side, like so. If you are feeling adventurous, there is the more optimal 2.25 tick method. For this one, I found tile markers far too messy from all of overlap of our quadrants, so I find it easier to just keep the butterfly tile markers we're all used to and work off of that. Basically what you do, start by just doing a normal 3 tick butterfly cycle until you get to a point you are running towards the 2x2 two two square of tile markers. At this point, you always run to a tile that's on the other quadrant and closer to the center of the room, regardless of if you're going clockwise or counterclockwise. From there, you simply do an L away from Akka, then a diagonal, then an L, like so. Then you do a double diagonal, then you repeat. L, diagonal, L, double diagonal. L, diagonal, L, double diagonal. The same thing applies when rotating the other direction. Run to regular tile in a 2x2, and then L, diagonal, L, double diagonal, repeat. If it helps, you can mark any tiles that give you trouble. Like these ones I find a bit tricky to click on without any markers, so I marked them here. The other ones have either floor markings or tile markers nearby that make it easy to click on, but feel free to add or remove tiles to your preference. Note that after 8%, Akka will become invincible if he steps out of a quadrant. So for this part, you should do a 2.42 tick method, where instead of doing L diagonal L, you can skip a diagonal and go straight to a tile, like so, and like so for the other rotation. When dealing with the shadow itself, you can go back to 2.25. When attacking from underneath, it'll push you out, but you can just continue to the tile you normally go for. Basically, you go either straight vertically or straight horizontally, depending which way you rotate, to kind of give you a simpler way of looking at this. You can also do a 2.66 method where you skip straight to a final tile of the L diagonal L on both sides if you find 3 take too easy, but 2.4 tick and 2.25 take too hard for you. I will be putting both the tile markers with and without the red tiles in the description. There's plenty of other ways to butterfly here, so feel free to play around with different 2.25 tick strats, and good luck in leagues everyone!